my lovelies welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new welcome my name is pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what i do for those of you guys returning welcome back my loves i want to give you guys a quick shout out to all of you guys that have reached out through all social medias whether it's snapchat whether it's instagram or my facebook thank you guys so very much i am greatly appreciative and humbled for the love and support you guys have given me i want to apologize for my late updates here for the monthly readings if you guys follow me on those social medias, obviously you know that we are experiencing or going through a family loss. So thank you guys for giving me that space. I wanted to come back and make sure that I was 100% and that is exactly what I made sure I did. So I've been doing readings nonstop and I wanted to do separate ones only because that's how I felt and I feel like a lot of information is coming through. Obviously I'm going through a massive... <laughs> um, death of the eagle right and transformation so i am very very much open and you know messages have just been coming through before i even pull out the card so if i am speaking a little bit faster than usual i apologize but this is how i channel if you guys have gotten personal readings you know how that goes <laughs> so i will try the best i can to pump the brakes whenever i feel like i am talking too fast if you guys are interested in any of the personal uh tarot readings um any spell work any of the services that I provide, you can find all of that on the description box below, as well as my social media, so you guys can follow me on there as well. Um, if you guys are interested in the manifestation journals or the books and journals that we have, you can find all of that description box below, like I said. Okay, Virgo, we're kicking it off before we get into your reading. I want to give you guys astrological events that are happening. Obviously, uh, eclipse season, the solar eclipse we just experienced, massive, massive transformation in many different ways for everyone, right? In different aspects, but nonetheless, transformation for sure. We are experiencing Pluto retrograde. It actually went retrograde today in Aquarius. What does this mean? Unlike Mercury or Mars, when it goes retrograde, this is a generational planet. So when it goes retrograde, wherever we felt in that area of our life that we were being disempowered or that there was massive transformation and even trauma being experienced, it is going to come back stronger in a positive way because when it goes retrograde it actually brings your power back tenfold um keeping in mind pluto is a planet of death and rebirth and transformation but also uh wealth and power so again it is bringing that to you depending on the house or placement that you have in your chart so virgo also massive massive changes when it comes to your love life for a lot of you guys you're already experiencing it or you will be experiencing it we have also uh, Venus in Taurus, and we also have Jupiter that's going to be going into Gemini as we continue throughout the year. So a lot, a lot of changes, you guys, a lot of transformation. We're already seeing this, right? But especially with Plutonian energy, we're already seeing like, you know, uh, Pluto was in Capricorn. It went into Aquarius. Uh, it is there right now. It is retrograde, but it's going to dip back into Capricorn in September. And when this happens, um, again, it brings, it's, it's the culmination. It is basically dipping back to bring you your power back. Uh, it's the rise of the Phoenix, so to speak. Um, the metaphor, right, of what Pluto definitely represents uh, with Scorpio energy. So again, it is basically dipping back into Capricorn to bring to you your power back, to bring to you your authentic power back. And it's basically... Through the chaos, it created a shield and it burned it down. It is now the dust is settling. It goes into Aquarius, then it goes back into Capricorn. When it goes into Capricorn, the last degrees, it is going to empower you. It's almost think of it as it's giving you new war shield to protect you. But not only that, it brings to you royalties. It brings to you power. It brings to you um, transformation on a massive scale so you guys can be experiencing all of this like i said we can already see this in the media right uh people that took advantage when pluto was in capricorn took advantage of their power by disempowering others they're being dragged on social media in the news all over so this is something that is going to continue obviously because once it stations and it goes into aquarius again finally culminating and staying there for the next 15 years it is about the collective. It is about the, the highest good for everyone, not just for those in power. So we're already seeing that with the news and the media, with the colleges and people protesting and all of that. So those are themes that you can be experiencing 
at a grander scale of things because it's a generational planet, but for you specifically, depending on where you have that Pluto placement and that Aquarius and Capricorn placement, that's what it's going to be bringing to you your power back as well as transform because it's going into Aquarius to finally stay there. All right, my lovelies, let's get into it. I apologize for the rant, uh, but I feel like it's very important to know because these are massive changes. It's not just something that happens every other month. This is themes that we can experience that are going to be unfolding for the next coming months, even years, okay? So let's get into it, Virgo. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, my ascendant master, spirits of divination. Please step forward. Allow me to see here, sense beyond, receive the messages loud and clearly for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What are the messages that we have here for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus? If you guys are interested, like I said, in any of the personal services that we provide, you can find that on the description link below. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe. Of course, subscribe. All right, Virgo, let's see what you can expect for the next for this month, actually, month uh, of May 2024, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what you guys can. You know what's coming through is for a lot of you Virgos, again, um, I'm still shuffling. But what they're showing me is like there is a lot of movement and momentum in your love life. And I feel like you guys have been experiencing this all through eclipse season, but you're still like at the pivotal moment uh so for a lot of you guys especially those of you guys that have been single for a while you're going to start to see momentum pick up that's if you're not already for some of you guys you could be dealing with multiple people or having multiple options uh, especially virgo uh risings as well as virgo venus and moon um okay we got cards flying out give me one second so i can pull this oh we got two cards that flew out Ooh, interesting. Very interesting because what was I just saying? You guys, I am, um, yeah, I've been channeling a lot of the information before even looking at the cards. But anyways, okay, so what they're showing me here with the Eight of Cups and Six of Cups is, like I said, there was a walking away from a situation that for some of you guys through Eclipse season, you could have experienced almost a reconnecting or the person coming back to you. Um, there is a lot of cups here, just with these two cards, the eight of cups and the six of cups. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going into a very blessed, um, a, a very blessed time or in your love life timeline. Um, so for some of you guys, you're bumping into people that are your soulmates for others of you. It's almost like your soul tribe or finding people that are, you know, that think like you, that have the same desires, the same wants. Uh, when it comes to relationships and partnerships, it's almost like you're being aligned. But it's going to come at the cost of you guys walking away from something or a situation, okay? So for some of you guys, it doesn't have to be exactly a person that you're walking away from, but it's walking away from a habit, okay? A cycle, something that you have a tendency of doing when it when it comes to the past, when it comes to relationships. So what they're telling you is, I feel like this uh, solar eclipse has brought to light a habit or a trait or something in your shadow side that you've become aware of it lately. Uh, and in this process, realizing that and catching that and making sure that you're no longer doing that because it doesn't resonate with you or it doesn't make sense to you anymore is going to be very important for you to be true and authentic to yourself, right? And to your consciousness. So what do I mean by this? Um, I'm going to give you guys very quick um, examples because that's what's coming through. So for some of you guys, as an example, settling with uh, flings, you know, connections that it, it, it's it almost starts like a fling, but then you get emotionally invested and then you feel like something can come from that. Uh, so you kind of lower your standards to see where it goes. Uh, for others of you, it could be that you have, because there's a lot of water energy, you have a tendency of getting out of character when you're drinking or when you're doing other things uh, to have fun or to um, to have fun or to, you know, decompress, so to speak. Maybe you're catching on to, hey, maybe this is not something that is healthy or maybe this habit. What's coming through for some of you guys is drunk texting. For others of you, it could be like uh, having a wild night and you have a tendency of going to the past. So this could be ringing up your ex. This could be texting, you know, a fling, a one night stand, someone that wasn't necessarily giving to you what you were looking for, 
but you were bouncing back because you want to feel you want to feel is what's coming through so for some of you guys it could be you could want to physically feel the touch of someone for others of you you just want to feel some type of emotional support for others of you you just want to feel seen um but i feel like definitely what they're saying here is you're walking away from all of that you guys i'm still shuffling the cards by the way <laughs> um spirit let me know when to stop uh, yeah, so what I'm seeing here is you guys walking away from that habit or walking away from that tendency. And when you do this, you're being true and authentic to yourself because you're listening not only to your mind, but to your intuition. And in doing this, you're leveling up Virgo. You're raising your standards. You're knowing your worth. You're knowing what you deserve and what's coming to you. And in doing so, it's almost as if you're manifesting um, at the speed of light. Uh, Virgo. So again, this doesn't have to be relationships. This could be career. This could be finances. This could be wherever you were settling, settling, wherever you felt like you had to bring your standards down because that's the only way people would see you or would give you the attention or would even, this is giving me the vibe in career wise. This could almost be like the vibe of you feeling like your boss or your higher or superior doesn't necessarily like you and you feel that so then you started to become a pushover you started to take more you know more responsibilities just so that they can make you feel like they see you but instead of that they were like just taking advantage of that and I feel that you're aware of that Virgo or you're becoming aware of that oh my god I shuffled so much you guys um now the next card that popped out here is the magician it's like I'm saying the moment you realize this, and again, keeping in mind what I just said about Pluto in the very beginning, you guys, this is why I felt like it's important for me to tell you guys the transits that are happening because it's very transformative energy. You're walking away from a pattern or a behavior, and you're not only taking it to the next level, you're manifesting at the speed of light because you're knowing your worth, you're knowing what you deserve, and you're no longer going to be settling, okay? Um, with the magician, this is empowering energy. This is like you knowing everything that you bring to the table, whether it's career, whether it's finances, whether it's relationships, whether it's even with family that they've taken advantage of you, Virgo, or they have a tendency of relying on you so much. At this point, you're sick and tired of it. You're taking your power back. You're like, you know what? It's not, it's kind of giving me the vibe of when someone tells you, Virgo, you know what you need to do? And you're like, wait, hold up. First of all, I don't need to do shit. If I do something, it's because I choose to. <laughs> so rephrase that real quick type of energy. It's because you're becoming empowered. You're not doubting yourself anymore. You're not so much in your head, Virgo. And I love this energy for you because it's very flowing energy. It's energy that is really giving to you. Exactly. Dude, what did I just look at that? You guys, I'm telling you, I am on fire right now. <laughs> I, I've been just channeling before I pulled the cards out and that's for every single sign. <laughs> you guys, what I'm seeing here is you choosing to walk away from a habit or trait that you've done in the past. It's what's going to bring to you that breakthrough, that manifestation, that happiness, that perfect job, that perfect relationship, that perfect partnership. You have two aces here with the nine of cups, emotional fulfillment. It's like you're walking away from a pattern in the past or a trait or a person from the past. You're knowing your worth, you're knowing your power. And you know what? In doing that, what you're going to be experiencing is monumental transformation. This could be Pluto energy. This is bringing your power back. This is letting you know, Virgo, you are great. You are amazing. Do not fucking, you know, sell yourself short stop watering other people leaving yourself dry like no 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 you're the king you're the queen like know your worthiness Virgo I assure you that this month of May if you take anything from this reading is that in this month of May learn to say no and to to not settle okay do not settle if you have a tendency of people hitting you last minute and they want to invite you somewhere or whatever or that hookup wants to hook up with you and it's random like learn to say no because in doing that what's going to happen is you are choosing yourself you're like okay hold up you want to hit me up I haven't heard from you you want to hit me up you want me to drop what I'm doing and go and you know no you choose yourself be like no you know what this is not a good time next time give me a heads up plan something 
by you doing this, it's like you're raising your standards, you're raising your vibration, but you're also raising your worthiness. And in doing this, it, it only makes sense that the universe is going to bring to you the blessings, the desires, the wants, the happiness that you deserve and are worthy of Virgo. So awesome, awesome energy for you guys. This is amazing energy. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.